Dear young people, please put your head back in its place. <laughs> we need to let our minds off the hook. It's really time to start making decisions from our heart, from our gut, from our womb space, men and women, from the place deep within us, from how we feel about something rather than what we think about it. We get to break out of this conditioning that tells us that, oh, I just have to take a second to go and think. Oh, I just have to think it over. I just have to write my list of what I should do versus what everyone else is telling me I want to do. And it's really time for us to let our minds and let our heads off the hook and bring the decision making process out of a thought process and into a heart process. Because I feel like for so long we've been taught that if we just think hard enough about something or if we just think about a decision for long enough or if we just think about it in the right way then we'll come to a conclusion but literally all of us were programmed with specific parts of us that were designed to make decisions based on our intuition and how we feel and none of us were meant to ever make decisions from our mind and our thoughts and if there are people that are meant to make decisions based on what they think then I am yet to meet them but even still we get to make decisions based on a combination of, yes, logical thinking, but mostly 99% emotional feeling and intuitive gut knowing. We get to, our mind is like anything else. If we give it a task that it's not meant to do, it's going to malfunction. And if we try and make it do things that, and if we hold it responsible and blame it for all the things that we've done quote unquote wrong or all the paths that we've taken that weren't for us or all the ways that we've gone that we've gone kind of astray then of course it's going to get sick of course it's going to feel abandoned of course it's going to feel like you can't really trust your mind and trust your thoughts anymore our minds are like computers right so they're designed to process the information that, that we're receiving they're not designed to be our gps they're not designed to guide us down the path of life our hearts are designed to be our gps our feelings our emotions our guts our souls our spirit our intuition they're the parts of us that we get to choose from they're the parts of us that we get to decide from and then as we go along the journey our mind is like that beautiful supercomputer taking in all of the information and processing it and use it to help us on as we navigate the journey but please stop looking to your mind to make decisions we need to let our minds off the hook and actually start remembering that it's actually not their responsibility to govern our lives it's actually not their responsibility to tell us what to do if we have inner slave drivers in our heads up here it's because they've been we've been conditioned to believe that that's what we need in order to stay focused stay in alignment stay on track when the reality is when we actually let go of the mind when we actually put the mind relegate the mind back into its natural place as our computer system and our guide in a sense and that it's supposed to process information and then help us figure out which way to go and feed information down here not the other way around and the more that we relegate the mind to its natural position the more that we are going to feel fulfilled in our decisions. We can make decisions that are in alignment with our soul's truth and our soul's calling rather than what our head thinks we should do. Our minds have been so programmed and conditioned to believe certain things, including that they should run the show. How many times have you heard like, I just, yeah, I just have to go away and think about it. And I just need some time on my own to think. Like, what if we said, I actually just want to really feel into it. I actually just want to like, I want to speak it out loud and say, see, hear how it feels when I say it and speak it in my own voice. I want to speak it and see what my truth is when it comes out of my mouth. Like, I want to see how it feels when I look like I'm, am I leaning into that decision? Am I responding with it like a, mm, yes, that feels good. Or am I pulling back with like a, uh, or just no, like flat out, no, uh, am I pulling away? What, how does my body respond? How does my intuition feel? How do I respond to that situation rather than what do I think about it? So let's just all agree, young people, we get to let our minds off the hook. We get to let our bodies decide. We get to let our hearts decide. We get to let our intuition and our soul guidance and our 
heart, like our throat chakras and our G centers, these, this point here decide for us and make all the decisions and let them pull us and let them lead us in the direction that our soul was meant to go. So the next time you feel your head trying to get involved in the decision making process, just say, honey, thank you. I love you. I love you so much. I'm so fucking grateful that you are the supercomputer in my specific head. And I'm so grateful that I get to have used this mind specifically. Right now, I'm going to tune into the feeling of my soul. So many of us are walking around like head first, going head first into the world and then running where we're like wondering why we're hitting like brick walls all the time. What if we just let our heart lead? What if we just let our bodies lead? What if we just let our intuition guide us along the way? What if we just flowed with life and danced with life? How much more free would we feel? How much more beautiful could things be? How much more juicy and like connected would we be to the paths that we end up on? Just try it. Experiment with it for a couple of weeks and see what comes out. What would happen if you let your heart lead? What would happen if you let your gut decide? What would, you, what would happen if you let that beautiful pulling sensation in your solar plexus, like a cord, pull you towards the things that feel so good in response, that you feel so good in response to? It's time to let our minds off the hook and feel into the wisdom and truth of our hearts and our bodies and our souls. If you love this video, please subscribe and share it with all your friends. Dear young people, I fucking love you. Bye guys.